welcome to the Catholic Apostolate Center's blogcast series. Today's episode is entitled, The Importance of Retreat Spaces, written and read by Sarah Harrigan. The first time I went to a spiritual retreat was during my freshman year of high school. We all crowded into the basement of the church near our school and held forced conversations with classmates we barely knew. What I thought was going to be a dreadful day ended up being a wonderful experience and helped me to grow not only in my social life, thanks to newfound, forced friends, but also helped me to grow spiritually. Since then, I have attended numerous retreats throughout my life, but some of the most memorable ones are those which we were in new spaces. Later in my high school career, I joined a life team group, which went on off-site retreats twice a year around Thanksgiving and Easter. These retreats held about 60 high school students from our group, and we would gather at a local retreat house for a weekend retreat. It was here that I really began to learn the importance of these off-sites retreats and enjoy these new moments in new spaces. There was something so special about praying together, eating meals together, and spending quality time with the same group of people that really made me appreciate these experiences. I remember dreading the bus ride back to the church because that meant our time together was coming to a close. Personally, I found that I was much more keen to speak up and converse in deep conversation and feel vulnerable in these retreat settings. In a way, it felt as if in a new space, it felt like a new start. Similarly, my first weekend of college, I went on freshman retreat. I remember all the retreat leaders coming to the dorms and my parents encouraging me to sign up. I was terrified. I had no friends going on the trip. I was away from my roommate for the first time, and I had no clue what to expect. The weekend ended up being fantastic. We went kayaking. I made new friends, shared a cabin with classmates I'd never met before, and we ended the weekend with a beautiful Eucharistic adoration and mass. What I thought was going to be the most awkward and unfamiliar experience ended up being filled with joy, laughter, and only falling into the lake once. That was the real miracle of the retreat. Here at the Palatine Seminary at Green Hill, we offer a full events facility for day events and can accommodate groups smaller than 35 adults for retreats, board meetings, or other similar group meeting needs. Additionally, There is a chapel for mass, prayer, and adoration, a dining room for group meals, and several outdoor locations for breakout groups or just to walk around our manicured 14-acre landscaping. Just walking around Green Hill is such a relaxing experience. It is so quiet and serene and such an enjoyable place to visit. Green Hill is even fully equipped with an audio-visual studio. Here, guests can record podcasts, film videos, and even host webinars from our studio space, which includes a teleprompter, lighting, microphones, and other items you may need. Our dedicated meeting space, the Queen of Apostles Room, was recently renovated to include a brand new camera, microphone, and speaker system, allowing for ease of use for events with virtual participants. Truly, most any amenity you may need for your group, you can find here. It is our hope that Green Hill can help to facilitate all your needs and enhance any retreat or group meeting experience. Retreats have the ability to be an experience that can be both connective and solitary. Through retreats, I found my spiritual life growing, not just through my words and thoughts, but through those of whom I was journeying with. We hope that Green Hill can be the backdrop for your next group retreat meeting space and facilitate all the meaningful conversations to come for you and your ministry. To learn more about Green Hill, visit our website, www.catholicapostolatecenter.org. Thank you.